Roshana Williams' work is bold and moving and coming to life in a new way these days in Pioneer Square. She's one of the selected artists turning boarded up storefronts into beautiful, uplifting murals. I live in this neighborhood and I've always wanted to give something to Pioneer Square. I know it's not permanent, but hopefully it like gives people some happiness during this horrible time we're in, you know? Her work is meant to be seen and felt. This painting is all about love. Um, I'm, I'm doing four of them. One is on belief, one is about caring, and the other one is about hope. She's an artist, consultant, teacher, and speaker. But in this role, Roshana is a messenger for you and me. Man, oh, Seattle. I love Seattle because I think that everybody, people here are very generous and kind. And I just want to say that we will get through this and this too shall pass. When the pandemic meant Seattle bagels couldn't maintain their Pike Place Market location, they quickly moved to another site and discovered there was still a big market for their product. That led to the Hero Bagel Box. We came up with this Hero Bagel Box uh, by really out of the demand for, for people wanting to give bagels to their friends, family, and relatives, just show, show our appreciation and love right AJ donates 50% more bagels in the Hero Boxes every time somebody sends an order to the heroes in hospitals, nursing homes, grocery stores, and other essential jobs. It's the people that are on the front line, ringing up the orders, delivering the product. And so I think right now more than ever, our focus should be on the bottom up and focusing on the relationships that really matter. AJ also donated profits from a pop-up bagel stand to the Tavon Learning Center for Disabled Youth. A benefit pop-up for a local grocer is next. AJ's bagels aren't just breakfast anymore. They're delicious tokens of love and respect. In Tumwater, two friends, a fitness studio owner and a bar and restaurant owner, are using their closure time to take in food donations and then deliver them where they're needed. We are providing space and storage for all the food that's been donated. Um, and then last Friday, we were able to use the kitchen to prepare all the meals to be delivered. And this Friday, we'll be doing the same thing. So there were hot meals that were going out? Yes. Where were they going? Uh, places uh, like there's an elderly um, apartment building downtown Olympia. There's a couple of shelters down there. Um, there's one in Lacey as well. And then also we have sort of a list of some elderly folks that live alone uh, that we deliver fresh meals to as well. Over at the fitness studio, an army is hard at work packing up deliveries for Tumwater and North Tumwater school districts and beyond. Seven weeks now, serving some 800 families each week with 125 hardy volunteers. This is really the pulse of what we're supposed to do. We we're just two girls. We've been friends for a really long time and we wanted to make a small difference and this community has made it huge. Tessa and Nicole have always worked in the community and late last year realized a dream by forming a foundation called For the Love. And look what love has done two friends using service and inspiration to bind together their corner of the world with circles of goodness. Surprising, overwhelming. The amount of donations, not only from organizations in the area, businesses, restaurants that can't use their food are donating it to us so it doesn't go bad. We have family members coming and bringing non-perishable items to the studio so that we can give them out to families. It's astronomical. It's um, it gives you such an amazing, overwhelming feeling to see a community of just your neighbors coming together to make something happen for families. Isn't that great?